All right, Taurus, getting ready to do your reading. This is a uh, energy update for April. It's a timeless reading, but it's an e technically an energy update for April 2021. Taurus been in my head all day. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's a general reading. May or may not resonate with you, but the title brought you in here. You've been following along with the energies. Well, and you're probably here for a reason. I would say. I'm shuffling the deck trying to dial you in. Taurus has been in my head all day. I've been seeing bulls everywhere. Uh, you know, you guys are notoriously known for being a little bit stubborn at times. All right. I ran into a couple of stubborn people today. They weren't Taurians and, uh, because I didn't like them and I like Taurus people. I, <laughs> I, got, I got a Taurus moon. So, you know, I'm, I'm with you guys. I think it's a moon. I think I got Taurus moon. Yeah, that, that, I think that's it. it Taurus rising, one or the other. One or the other. I forget. I forget my own chart. All right, let's cut the deck for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. A little energy update here. Let's see what's going on. Month of April. Everything changes. You know, those April readings, I'm just going to give the deck a final shuffle. Those those April readings were pulled in the, around the 23rd or so of, uh, of March, so the energies were right there. So we're a week into the energies of April, for sure, from when the readings were pulled. Now, last, last we left off, your person was in a bad situation. They were stuck in it. Boy, they want you. I remember that reading. I remember it well. Bottom of the deck right now, giving us the weather forecast for this reading, Taurus. We got the Seven of Wands. You're that light. You see the flame? That's you. Okay? The Seven of Wands is someone who's standing up and doing what's best for them. I think I can see why we are pulling this reading. All right? This is someone who might be, maybe they saw... Maybe your person watched the Steve's Love Tarot Taurus April reading I put up a week or so ago. I don't know. This is a timeless reading, by the way. So when you catch this, energies are cyclical. So when you catch this, you catch it. I am going to extend this reading for those of you that want it. The link is in the description. Okay? Uh, we're going to dig more into your person and maybe their situation. All right? For, for those that resonate with someone being stuck with someone they don't like. Uh, we're going to dig into that a little bit in, in the extended reading. Right here, we're just going to see what's going on. All right? I can't wait to see where this goes. These cards want to talk today, <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, I've done a few readings today. Uh, right here, we got uh, the energy around your person or your situation, how your person feels, how they feel about you, specifically, Taurus. Uh, message from the universe, which is also hidden energies. Okay? I should have been pointing that out all along, but... Yeah, it's a message from the universe, usually hidden energies, and right here is a final outcome, all right? And we'll clarify everything. I'll throw some universe cards over the top. We'll see where we go. You ready? Taurus? Huh? All right. <laughs> First card out for Taurus, the energy around the situation, the king of pentacles, all right, the big buck, male or female, doesn't matter. Uh, this is, oh, man, this, this is someone... It just, oh, what is th that energy? I can't even put my finger on what that energy is. It's really strange. I want to say your person sees you as the king of pentacles, you know, the, the, the long-term person. No, this your person in a situation that's long-term. That's what the energy is. That's why it was difficult to read coming off of it. it, it it's your person in a situation that's sort of a long-term situation, all right? That's, that's just what they are right now, male or female, it doesn't matter. That's the situation, all right? But they're very hot and cold about it. I'm getting a hot and cold. Anyway, let's see how your person feels. The hermit, your person feels, your person has put themselves, we put ourselves in the hermit. There's that light again. There's that light. I said it was you at the bottom of the deck. Look, two, we got a twin flame connection going on here is what the universe just told me. We got a twin flame. I got two flames. I got twin flame. All right. But either way, that flame represents you. We don't have any twin flame indicators yet. But anyway, uh, this person has put themselves in a hermit. They're trying to figure out what to do. All right. They're trying to figure out what to do. Uh, let's see if we can find out why. Let's see how they feel about you, Taurus. I don't even... <laughs> the five of, of swords is how they feel about you, Taurus. You, you ought to go have lunch with my cancer people. The Cancerians and you can have a good time at lunch. 
uh, their person recently on an energy update felt the Ten of Wands for them. Uh, you're here at the uh, Five of Swords. Man, this is a person who just feels like they want to give up. It's like they don't have it. They don't have a shot. This is usually this card can be read many different ways. Okay, so for those of you that read cards and like to email into me to tell me what the cards mean, I read energy. All right, and this card is usually a person who's stealing swords around and they're taking credit for other battles and stuff like that. It's a card of laying down arms. I know what the card means. The energy around it is someone who's just given up. All right, they've given up. They're, they're in this stuck in this long-term situation. They're in their head in the hermit trying to figure out a way to do it. This card right here stumped me for a second. It was the hardest card to, to read. I didn't even know what that energy was coming off there. This person is not happy in this situation, okay? This person is not happy in this situation. How they feel about you is like there's no hope. There, there's, not, I, there's nothing I can do. Uh, you know, I want Taurus, but, you know, Taurus, you may have told them, and I'm getting this is probably true for a few of you, you may have told them that you didn't want to be in a third-party situation you, because you're probably better than that. You're better than that. You deserve better than that to be some third wheel and all that. That may be why the Five of Swords is there for some of you. For others of you, your person just can't, even though they're in the Hermit, they just can't figure out a way out of this thing here. I can't wait to find out what that's about. Uh, right here, Hidden Energies, or what the Universe wants you to know, Nine of Wands, again, Wounded Warrior. And this card ties to this card, this card will tie to this card, this is a standalone. This card ties to this card here. So we're talking about this long-term stable supposedly stable connection but there's anything but i've never seen the king of pentacles have an unstable energy come off it before this is the most unstable energy i've ever seen and these two cards explain it and this one just backs it all up nine of wands the person is keeping quiet we got a moon on the card here your person's keeping a lot hidden okay they're probably not even telling you they're unhappy in their situation they're certainly not telling the public they're not going out on their social media and saying oh what a piece of crap this person is i'm with no they're probably acting all happy you know putting up pictures eating a big mac oh god look at me i'm happy here we are we're holding hands here we are it's all bull i'm gonna say it it's bullshit that's what i'm gonna say because that's what it is is nine of wands is the wounded warrior they're putting up a good front a, a, a good front but the wall on this card you, that's usually there on most decks is a flimsy wall of just some wands. You can see right through it. Most of you could crash right through it. Even if you're 98 pounds soaking wet, you could crash through that nine of wands wall without any problem. All right, right here, final outcome. Oh yeah, something's changing. I love this, this is the world. I don't care what other readers tell you, this is the most powerful card in the deck, the most energy. It's heavy. It's like a 500 pound card when you, when you pull this thing out. This is the last card of the Major Arcana. It is a powerful, powerful energy. It is about one cycle ending and another cycle beginning. All right? So something is changing here in this dynamic. This card, again, is tied to the Hermit. Okay? They're on the same level. Uh, they're in there trying to figure a way out of this. Losing hope over ever getting their hands on Taurus, all right? Uh, they're in there trying to figure out a way to get out of it. It looks like the universe is helping, all right? I don't know what kind of connection we got here. We're going to find out. But I I'm just saying the universe is stepping in to help. The universe doesn't just help. You don't get cards like this on a connection that doesn't mean anything, all right? I use the analogy all the time. Sometimes I do it on, on personal readings or whatever, where you know you meet someone in a bar, you take them out to the parking lot for a quickie. The universe does. You don't pull a world or a wheel of fortune for for that. This is a serious connection right here. This is, you know, they're in the hermit right now. They're trying to figure it out. I'm shuffling the deck. We're going to clarify. All right, we're going to find out first what this weird energy of the King of Pentacles is about. I've never seen such a weird energy come off a card. All right. Usually the King of Pentacles, being a pentacle, is an earth energy. But this is scorched earth energy. All right. It's weird. That's why I paused on it. I read energy real well. I usually know what the card is the second it comes out. Uh, not that one. All right. What? Why is it here? What's this King of Pentacles? Because <laughs> of you. <laughs> it's uh, I think you're what's making the connection 
Uh, here's, here's what it is, the Nine of Cups, all right? Now, again, we got another one of these moons. Remember, this bank of cards is tied to this bank of cards. We got a little moon here again. They're, all, they're keeping all this quiet, Taurus. For most of you, I know, for most of you, you're not even talking to this person, okay? I would bet on that for a lot of you. Not all of you. It's a general reading, all right? You got to adjust to your story. Your story is an offshoot off the energy, all right? But the Nine of Cups, you're the wish fulfilled. This is your energy attached to this card. I'm telling you, you know it's cups. I know readers like to talk about the signs and all that. That, That's not, I hate it when they do that. Now let me tell you all the signs that are here. It's worthless. It doesn't mean, and then after they say that, they usually say, oh, but that doesn't matter. They could be any sign. Well, then why'd you say it in the first place? You're just confusing people. All right, it doesn't matter. This is Taurus's energy here. This is the outgoing energy. So I, I'm pulling a reading for Taurus. I say it's Taurus. This is incoming energy. This is your person. Even though Taurus is an earth sign, yes, I know. It doesn't matter. The reason that this connection, this stable, this normally stable card is scorched earth and unstable is because of you, Taurus. And they're keeping that quiet. I think I, think I got this funny message from the universe. I think you make their, their current person look bad. You know what I'm saying? You make them look bad. You make they thought maybe they thought the person they were with was great until they met you, and they met you, and they're like, well, the person I'm with, is shit, they're crap. Okay, why? Now we ask why. We get another card. Okay, the two of wands. Yeah, two of wands. This energy here is about leaving one thing behind and taking another thing. Okay, two of wands has many meanings in many different positions. The two of wands can be uh, setting intention, it can be someone watching you, okay? But usually if you look at the decks, it's someone where one, where they got their hand on one stick and one stick behind them is a standalone, all right? They've left it alone, they've said goodbye to it, all right? It's he it, why it's here, why this is here is because they'd like to leave this stick behind and grab you, all right? That's, that's why it's here, well we know that, What's going on with this hermit here? But I mean, that's what's going on. You're causing, you just made the other person look bad. I think that's the case for a lot of you. Uh, and you can apply that to your story however you need to. It, it's, it's just a fact, you know. If someone is, is in a situation and they're interested in someone else, obviously the someone else makes the person they're with in most cases look bad. So it's, it, that's what's happening and that's what the universe is telling us. <coughs> Excuse me. What's this hermit about? This hermit about is how to come in and get you. Okay? Knight of Cups. Uh, outgoing energy. It's about how to come in and get you. That's, that's all it is. Knight of Cups. And this Knight of Cups always has a trail of broken hearts behind him. A trail of broken hearts. Let me tell you. They're heartbroken. They feel like there's no hope. Alright? And why? Why is this here? Well, Major Arcana. Strength card. Big card coming out. The big 500 pound lion with the rose in his mouth from the two of cups in this deck all right he's got one of the roses from the two of cups in this deck in his mouth again this is this hermit and i knew it when i pulled the card is all about them thinking about how to how to get you or maybe even how to sneak around this person to at least talk to you all right they're trying to come up with some kind of plan they're trying to find the strength to do it i don't think this person has the guts at the moment. I'm just saying it's right there and the strength card coming out isn't someone who has the strength. It's someone usually who's trying to get the strength, all right, uh, to come in as the Knight of Cups. And the Hermit is them trying to figure out how they're going to do it. But I don't think they have their guts even right now. And I think that's why they're kind of bummed out, you know, with this Five of Swords, just sort of giving up, you know, quitting the fight, fight's over kind of thing. What's this Five of Swords about? i got to shuffle the deck for it and be encouraged to shuffle. Uh, this is a great reading. I love this reading. I love. Uh, I don't like your person. I don't. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like them. I'm sure they're very nice. I'm sure they're very attractive. I, or you wouldn't like them. But I'm just saying, as far as their energy goes, I, I think you're getting kind of a shaft here, Taurus. If you're better than the other person, what's? We're gonna look in the extended reading. See if maybe this other person has something on your person. You know, you never know, right? Maybe they took some pictures a little late one night, got drunk. I don't know. Or they got some dirt on them. If, if, if it's a businessman kind of thing, they got some dirt. I don't know. 
We're going to find out what's going on. We're going to find out. We'll take a look. But we definitely want to look into more on how your person feels about you. But let's look into it right now. Five of Swords. <laughs> They've given up hope. I don't know if I can get Taurus. I don't know if I'll have the strength to come in as the Knight of Cups. I don't know if I'll figure anything out. Taurus is my wish fulfilled. I'd like to just grab Taurus's stick. All right. <laughs> uh, no pun intended. Uh, or, you know. Uh, you know, again, in this situation, they see you as the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this is pure Ten of Pentacles energy. The, the Ten of Pentacles usually goes with the King of Pentacles. This, this King of Pentacles energy coming off here, I didn't even know how to read it when it came out. Like I said, it wasn't what I was expecting. They see you as long-term, Ten of Pentacles, white picket fence, house, hell, even the dog is smiling on some decks. That's how they see you. And that's why they're just... Uh, this person, I can feel their despair, okay? It's just, you saw, you heard what I did just there. I went, ah, oh, like, that's your person. They're stuck in this for some reason. I don't know if it's family obligations. I don't, I don't know if it's just somebody's got some dirt on them or if they're worried, with, maybe they have a kid and they're worried about the kid. And I, I don't know, but staying in a bad relationship's never good for a kid. The kids learn how to love from us. So, you know, the kid's just going to end up growing up having bad relationships. Your best bet is to leave the damn relationship if it's for a kid. You know, stay for the kids. That's not anything to teach the kids. Stay for the kids. You know, that's terrible. That's a, that's a slogan for a buffet restaurant, maybe. Stay for the kids. The food sucks. The buffet is crap. But stay for the kids because the kids like it and they eat cheap. You know, I mean, but it's not a slogan to stay in a relationship. Ace of Cups, they got big love for you. This is big love, man. This is definitely a soul connection for sure. Uh, no doubt. Uh, this is, wow. And they want to communicate. It's a card of communication. They really want to. Uh, all the love is still in this cup. This cup is full. There's nothing spilling out of it. It's all still there. Um, they're trying to figure it out. They're try you know, we've gone all through that. They're trying to figure it out. What's this Nine of Wands about? i got to shuffle the deck again uh, for the Nine of Wands. Just give me a second. You know, your person is in despair here. And I don't know what is going on with this third-party situation. And again, it's going to be in the title that this is still that same kind of title that we had in the, uh, in the April reading. The energies are shifting a little bit in the sense that your person's trying to figure it out, per se. Uh, but they're still figuring it out. They're still working on it. They, they've come a little further. It's encouraging to see this world here, though. The world, the universe. I can't wait to clarify that. The universe is stepping in. What's this Nine of Wands? Or, yeah, Nine of Wands. What is it? Victory. Card of Victory. Six of Wands and a Butterfly of Transformation. All right? Your person, this is the Wounded Warrior card. Again, your person's just sort of giving up just behind that wall, just sort of standing their ground, staying where they got to stay. This here is a wish that they have because it, it's kind of tied to the, it's in the same position as the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfilled. This, they, they hope for success here. They just hope uh, for victory. And, and that's really all I'm getting off of that. Ah, uh, uh, I got a clarifier here. Okay. The goat with his feet on fire, the devil, devil energy. Yeah, we're going to need to look into, we're going to look into this little critter right here in the extended reading. We're going to look into this little critter. This is why they're stuck behind this wall. This is why all this is happening right here. Devil energy. I got two different scenarios coming off this. It's a general reading. If it was a personal reading, I'd be able to kind of narrow it down, but I got a whole bunch of people watch the videos now. Can't possibly be for everyone. I can't possibly come up with a thousand scenarios. Two scenarios. One, your person has negative past life karma with the person that they're with. Okay, that's scenario one. Scenario two is that the person that they're with is the devil. All right? And that's, that's the plainest way I can put it. A control freak and entitled fuck with a devil uh, a control freak an insecure person uh controls everything probably blackmailing them into staying for some reason you know holding something over their head whatever it may be things like that those are the two scenarios that i get off this card 
Uh, either way, in either scenario, they've got karma with the person they're with, and they're still blowing that out. And all karmic debts are paid in the universe. All right? All karmic debts are paid. Ask any Buddhist. Ask any Zen master. You can, you can tweet Deepak Chopra. I don't care. They're all going to tell you the same thing. All karmic debts are paid. So they either stay in it and pay the karmic debt and blow out the karma, or they're just going to have to finish it up in the next life, or they leave the person and it'll finish up in this life. You know, the person will just make their life hell and keep coming at them. One or the other. What's this world? Either way, the universe is stepping in here. The universe is stepping in. So, see, these are the hidden energies right here. Okay, so hidden energies. Your person is defensive. Okay, standing their ground. They wish for success. They wish for victory. But there's too much negative karma around them. Too much. They're like surrounded in a force field of negative karma. The, the goat with his feet on fire is walking through a field of dried leaves. All right, setting it ablaze. What do we got here? World stepping in. Come on, tell me, universe. What do we got? <laughs> You're going to hear from this person, Taurus. I felt that before that card came out. That's why I laughed. I felt <laughs> There you go. Well, and, and we ask why? Because they feel like they're out in the cold. It's the Eight of Wands. It's a card of communication in this position, in this reading, based on the cards that it's off of. They're trying to figure out a way to communicate with you. They They will. Uh, they will find the strength. They, it, I guarantee, I guarantee you, they, they absolutely will. And if we ask why, it's because they want to come out of the cold. Five of Pentacles. They feel out in the cold. They feel like there's no hope. They're just going to take a shot. It's that now or never kind of feeling I get from it. That now or never feeling. It's a dangerous thing sometimes, but most of the time, it, it, it really makes people do things. This person's just going to. Take a shot. They're fine. They're trying to find a clever way. I doubt they're going to leave their person and then contact you. I think they're just trying to find a way to sneak around their person and contact you. I can tell you from this devil energy that their person probably, you know, monitors their email and, uh, you know, again, control freak kind of behavior, insecure sort of thing. All right. Uh, wow. That's, that's, I knew something big was there because the world is there. Now, these are minor arcana. All right, this Eight of Wands is Minor Arcana. We're still subject to their free will. Uh, but I don't feel that. I feel with the world here, it's powerful enough to, to juice up these Minor Arcanas here. Uh, powerful enough to juice it up. The world's a very powerful card. It's underestimated by a lot of readers here on YouTube. They underestimate the world. Uh, they, they, in favor of the sun, you know, and all that. Oh, the sun came out. The world's a better card than the sun. I'll tell you that the sun's the happiest card in the deck, no doubt about it. It's happiness, contentment, complete bliss, and all that. But the world's got some voodoo behind it. The world's got some magic. The world makes things happen. It makes cycles end and new cycles begin. It makes people change. It's a powerful card. It used to be. I don't know what happened. I don't know why all of a sudden the world fell out of favor as the most powerful card in the tarot deck, but I'm bringing it back, all right? I know, no, I'm not Justin Timberlake. I'm not bringing back whatever the hell he brought back. It was something, I don't know, sexy or whatever it was. Uh, I'm bringing back the world. That's what I'm doing. Steve Timberlake. All right, here we go. We got uh, the universe over the top. I asked the universe for some more information on this connection between you two. Okay? Uh, we're going to look more into Devil Boy here, and, or girl, uh, here and, uh, and this connection. And, and what the hell is going on? What, what's the hold up? All right? In the, uh, in, in, the, in the extended reading. Link's in the uh, description in case you want it. I never push it on anybody. If you want it, you want it. You don't, you don't. Right here, um, universe. <laughs> Tell me about this connection. This connection is both of you have regret and you said and you, you miss each other. All right, this, this is mirroring card. Uh, always a mirroring card when it comes out in the universe position. Uh, it's both. Both energies are attached to this. You both have regret. You both are this sad horse. All of this is causing a lot of pain. It's all being caused at the, at the core by this devil person. All right? Whoever this person's with. All right? That they can't get out of. All right? Freaking hell. Nine, uh, this is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> they want their independence. But they don't have it. The Nine of Pentacles, the card of independence, is clarifying 
sadness and regret, okay? This is, they don't have their independence. That's what they want. They need their independence. Yeah, we know that, universe. Give me something else. It's going to take a little time. It's been a spell. They're watching. They've never let you go, Taurus. This person has never let you go to keep their eyes on you. Most decks, this is someone looking out at ships offshore. See the ships coming in. You're the damn ship. All right? They have never taken their eyes off those ships. All right? Six of Swords, got the happy rainbow from the Ten of Cups there, happily ever after. All this person wants is to move things on, is to move on, to leave where they're at and come toward you. You're the calmer waters. That's all they want. I can feel that in the energy. You're this freaking rainbow right here. They ain't got no rainbows with the devil. There's no rainbows. They are not happy in that situation. Every time my eye keeps getting drawn to this, every time a happy card comes out here, my eye gets drawn to this. This prick. All right? Yeah, I said it. This prick. And we're going to look at this prick in the uh, extended reading. I want to see this prick. I want to meet this prick. Probably because 10,000 of you are going to watch this. Probably 10,000 pricks. You bring them on over to me. You bring them on over to my house. It's fine. I'll meet 10,000 pricks in one day. It'll be like a world record. I'll call Guinness. Steve from Steve's Love Tarot met 10,000 pricks in one day. Yep, I'll go ahead. I'll meet him. All right. What else you got, universe? Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Now, I know where this is going. I'm not even going to tell you what that card means because they got the King of Pentacles over here for the current situation. But this is scorched earth energy. This is beautiful. I guarantee you. And I'm going to pull the card right in front of you. Oh, yeah. Nine of Swords. Yep. Nine of Swords. I knew a bad card was coming because we got the King and Queen of Pentacles. All right. That's representing the situation that they're in now. And look how they're at. Nine of Swords. That's that's where they're at with it. It's, not, it's keeping them up at night. They hate it. They hate it. This devil here. <laughs> Freaking prick. Goat sucking prick. That's what that is. I don't even. I don't even like their relationship, and I'm not in it. All right. All they want to do. All they're thinking about while they're pacing the kitchen at, at two o'clock in the morning with a bottle of whiskey is coming toward you. Page of cups. They want to. They just want to come toward you. They got nice. This is warm. Look at the warm colors on this card. That's how I feel the energy. All right. The pinks, the yellows, the greens. It's all nice. That's nice. I don't know if that's a duck or a goose or whatever it is, but that little bugger loves you, right? Straight up. You just want to pet that thing or eat it if you're hungry, you know, whatever. I, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, yeah, and it's true. They want to bring passionate communication your way. Page of Wands. My God. My God. And take a leap of faith. Next card out, the fool. But, and all that's happening. All right, it's just, we see it. The world is turning on this powerful, powerful car is turning. We got communication here at the end of the reading. It's at the end of the reading, Taurus. All right, I'm sorry. But hey, you know what? I got good news. The sun is moving into Taurus on April 20th. All right, it's not just Earth Day. It's Taurus Day. All right, and uh, I'll tell you, uh, that's a good, that's, that's probably about the time as this reading plays out. It's probably going to take this person that long. I can't wait to see your mid-months. I can't, I cannot wait to see your mid-months. See what happened here. Or if this person, you know, got scared again, scared rabbit back in the hole. I don't know. Um, yeah, we got nothing, we got really nothing at the bottom of the deck that tells me too much of anything other than, other than an ace of swords. They, they, there's a lot they want to tell you. I can tell you that. There's a lot they want to tell you. There, there's, and this is the Archangel Michael's sword of truth. When, I'll tell you this much. In spite of what I just said to you about Taurus and the sun moving into Taurus, uh, this, this Ace of Swords has lightning hitting it. And this Eight of Wands has lightning hitting it. That, that's sudden. That's out of nowhere. Okay, that's, these two together pretty much make a tower kind of thing. You know, that's enough lightning to take a tower down right there. That's on those two cards. All right. I don't think you're going to see it coming. I, I don't. I don't. I don't think. I think it's going to be a surprise. I think it'll just show up. It may even show up at a time of day when you think, oh, they're probably asleep. Well, I can tell you, they're not asleep. This person is not sleeping. All right. This is a card of not sleeping. Look at the eyes on on this thing, wide open, big eye right there. Not sleeping. I'm not sleeping. You know, it, they are not asleep. 
telling you right now. So, that's your reading. That's your main reading. Now, I'm heading over, and I'm going to do your extended reading. All right? A time will lapse. It'll already exist by the time you see this. But I'm going to dig into this devil person, dig into their relationship with their other person, figure out what in the hell is going on, because this person is a caged animal. All right? Caged. I mean, they can't even reach out to you. All right, they got to figure out, they got to go major arcana in the hermit to figure out how to reach out to you. All right, and figure it out. They need the help of the world, the universe card, the entire universe, God, whatever, how a source, all of it. They need help to actually do this. All right, I'm going to find out what's going on with that. And I'm going to find out a little more about how they feel about you. All right. So let's, let's, uh, I'll head over there. If you're interested, link's in the description. Otherwise, Taurus, you have yourself a, a good day, week, month, whatever. Okay. All right, there you go.